the Reverend J.J. M. Nichols Roy Memorial Committee, and the J.J. M. Nichols Roy College Scholar Party, and the J.J. Lang Baka Kassil South Mortis Council. Kung Padak Ajing Rakhi, you can look who's number and drop sock Ajing Clark Low by Joy, Kalapulang Yaka Inter College Debit, Roka Pang, like a distant cell, Kiran don't come to Amakani Yaki Kibometa. You can have program La Pulang Pak Hasin National Dorper Hall, Haka Kisam La Puli, Naki College of Paper of Hair Glacier Meta. Hakan dekat ni atau kau ni ada dalam langru ubah Elroy, ubah langru IS of Sabarim juga sokat jenla, but I think keren kebab kongsan. Hakan dekat ni lang. Ia kan dekat Jacob terkonya lah. Ini live telekas ru aka channel Luke T7. With which they stood their ground, which they explained their own stance, justified their own stance. It's really remarkable if you think about it. 1949, their command over the English language is excellent, and they insulted each other in a very, very Gentle way, in a very, very subtle, in a very, very refined kind of a way, by using the English language. Why I mention this? Because you see, today we're going to hear our young students debating this very issue. So, we would like you also to express, it goes to the debate, the depth of knowledge of the subject, the importance of it, the issues which are at stake. What are the developments which led up to the present time when we are still debating this after 50 years? No, 75 years, in fact. 70 years, no? 70 years. Respected speaker, the Sikh schedule is designed to protect the rights and the interests of the tribal groups. For Meghalaya, uh, for Meghalaya a state with significant tribal populations, the Sikh schedule is not just relevant, it is a lifeline. It empowers these uh, local self-governance to make, to make decisions, ensuring that the decisions affecting tribal communities are made by those who understand their needs and their challenges. Respected speaker, the Sikh schedule also play a vital role in protecting the cultural heritage by allowing local communities to manage and, to manage and make laws protecting their land Customs and traditions. A very good afternoon to all present here. My name is Tracy Tafli Lingda and I'm representing Shillong College. And yes, I'm against the motion because, yes, we have seen lots of uh, things happening in the last few years. Uh, I would just like to say this before I go to the point that I already prepared. First, was it's safeguard. It's safe, they said that the sixth schedule it safeguard the interests uh, and the, tri the tribal community, safeguard the tribal community. But why does the, us again, most of the, we have these, uh, 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 these, uh, sorry. We, we demand ILP again. Why we, de we demand ILP over and over again? Again, we said, we demand ILP when we have KHRDC, will be safeguard us. And then, and yeah, I'll go straight to this. Uh, yeah, it has limited autonomy. It needs, uh, it's under supervision of the even with its autonomy, its uh, policy making, it still needs the supervision of the central government. It cannot do things uh, on its own. And the second uh, point is that uh, it has a uh, weak implementation. When I say weak implementation, have we seen development in India? I mean in Meghalaya. We have, we see really the, uh, really development here in Meghalaya. We still need we still need from the private, not from a government itself. And yes, uh, like example, I have this point, uh, limited uh, lack of resources, financial, yeah, like someone said, LP, primary school has been taken away by Meghalaya Act of 1990. Uh, it helps to collect some taxes. So now let's uh, move straight to the point. That is the, the six cities, uh provides autonomous local administrations of the tribal areas to protect the rights of the tribal population. So uh, this six cities, uh, it also ensures a protection and conservation of uh, tribal culture. So without this, uh, without this, the the six schedules, I think that we don't have anything, right? Because it fails to protect 
preserve our custom, tradition, and the rights of us, the tribal living here. So, and also, being a six shadow state, when we look at the, how the government treat the ADCs, they treat like, they take the ADCs as a small child, where they can just say, go to the left, go to the right. They can make the ADCs go anywhere. Why? Because they know that it is a six shadow, but still, they know that in a six shadow state, it is the ADCs that are more powerful than the government. But guess what? Here, the government is more powerful. You can take a look about the, sh the share from the resource profit, like coal mining and all. You know, most of the, almost 80% of the profit goes to the government, but not to the ADCs, who were the owners of the land. Uh, let us take uh, Yaudu or the Barabasar. We see most of the we see most of the non-tribals or the outsiders are controlling are controlling the business over here. So what about us? What about us? We have no any other option rather than to sell kwaidong or second-hand clothes in front of the shop. Do you agree with my points? Yes or no? The second point is that uh, it says about the trading license under the Regulation Act of 1959. When we talk about the trading license, we see that these non-tribal peoples are trading freely without any check from the district council. Uh, we, see, we see, sometimes also we can see that the pressure groups like the KSU, the HYC, and the HITO, and so on. They try to check which is not the duty for them to check. So this act also is not relevant in Mekhalia in the present context. My third point is that it says about the land. The Autonomous District Council is supposed to protect the land rights of the local people. But what has happened now? Let us take an example in Jainte Hills. In Jainte Hills, the farmland, the agricultural land, and the community forests can be easily converted into private land for mining and construction purposes by the non-tribals and the rich merchants and the outsiders, which create more, more, and more problems than solutions. My third point is that it says about the river. When we say about the river, uh, let us take a look. Rivers are also the subject of the district council too. But what have the EDCs done to protect our rivers? Like the Wa Umkhra, the Um Shirpi. So this act also is not relevant in Mekhalaya in the present context. Last but not the least, and that is the culture. When we talk about the culture, what comes to my mind first is the language. Language. Among the language in Shillong, most English is more popular than the Khasi. Yes or no? English is more popular than Khasi. Most of them, they are more conversant in English rather than Khasi. And of course, we feel, uh, we feel a little bit fashionable to talk in English. Yes or no? Then, they, uh, so this act also, how will the Autonomous District Council relate this? So before I conclude, I would like to leave one question. We are living on our own states. But why? Just tell why. Why do we still feel insecure? Thank you so much.